Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is mask roundness. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and for this example, I'll select this rounded rectangle tool and next I'll just draw one in my composition right here. So what if, let's say, I wanted to adjust the roundness of my corners. Now in the shape layers, it's easy to do. You just go to rectangle, rectangle path and right in here you, you see roundness. You can slide it left or right and increase it, decrease it, whatever you want to do. But that's not really the case when, when you work with masks. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to select this layer right here and I'll draw the exact same shape on top of my layer right here. So right now it has created a rounded mask. Now the thing is, if I go to my mask options, I don't really have that roundness option. So how do I round these and have more control? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to select this and hit delete. And so the key here, when you click and draw, you have to make sure that you don't let go of your mouse button because once you do, it's final. You can't really have any more options. So I'm going to control Z and undo this. So I'm going to click and draw and stay in that active mode. Now next, if you want to make your corner sharp, you just press left arrow key and it'll make it sharp. If you want to make them rounded all the way, press right arrow key. Right now it's completely rounded. Now if you want to set it, let's say to a certain size, so I'm going to set it to like this size. And if you press right arrow key, it's going to set it at that size. So right now it's looking good. Now what if you want to increase some? So you can do either up or down arrow key. So right now I'm going to do up. It's going to increase my roundness. If you push down arrow key, it's going to decrease it. So up and down will increase and decrease. Now the same thing applies for your middle mouse button. So if you scroll it up, it's going to increase it. If you scroll it down, it's going to decrease it. So that's kind of cool. And by the way, if you want to move your mask around in your composition, just press down space bar on your keyboard and you can easily move it around. And let's say if you want to set it right here, just let go of your space bar and it's going to drop it right where you let go. Now this is for rounded rectangles, but you can do the same thing using the star tool and polygon tool. So right now if I select the star tool and click and drag, you can see that we're in active mode right now. But if you want to make it rounded, just press right arrow key. It's going to make it rounded. Left arrow key will take you the other way. But if you want to increase the amount of your points on your star, just go up arrow key, down arrow key, and it'll do that. Or you can do the same thing by scrolling your middle mouse button up, down. So it's quite easy. So the same thing applies for your polygon tool here. And when you create one, you can create more points by going up and down on your arrow keys or scrolling your middle mouse button. And you can control the roundness by pressing the left or right arrow key. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.